New York City. What a place it is to live as a privileged 22 year old. I'm privileged to live in New York, that's true. But money wise, not exactly. So it's hard to eat well. Or at least that's what they say. Yeah, it's like McDonald's and one dollar pizzas. But See? We're still See? Told to She's saying healthy. it. It's She's impossible. saying it. But it can't be that simple, can it? Am I screwed? You have to be rich to eat well. Rich. Rich. That's bullshit. So I'm going to show you how living in New York doesn't have to break the bank. You can be just as broke as me. I just... Uh, I refuse to let my budget dictate my belly. It's got to be possible, but I'm going to have to talk to someone with a little more experience and expertise. Jennifer Jakes, a health coach and passionate foodie, will provide her story on how she eats so healthily for reasonably cheap. I visit her at her Brooklyn apartment to see what is cooking up in her kitchen. She created a website called The Fast Paced Foodie to help people just like you and me with free recipes and tips for well-being. So what do you use to make these chips? Super simple. Set your oven to 350 degrees. Take standard red skinned or brown skinned baking potatoes. Thinly slice, if you have a mandolin, which you can find at Bed Bath & Beyond for about nine to thirteen dollars. So how do you how is how do you make it work eating healthily for cheap? Because it seems practically impossible. I think the main thing is making sure it's a priority. So for me, eating well is the source of having enough energy to exercise, which I love to do. Feeling well, having clean skin, um, having positive emotions is linked to eating well. So for me, it's just putting in the time. Um, so I make sure that we have fresh food on hand by going to the farmer's market, which you can get amazing deals on food at your local farmer's market. So where do you go grocery shopping? I mean, whenever I try to go to Whole Foods, it seems like everything is a lot more expensive than Trader Joe's. Yeah, Whole Foods has a really bad rap, which breaks my heart, because that's where I grocery shop. And the key is to focus your shopping on the peripheral of the store. So fill up your cart on vegetables, fruits, and their bulk section is a huge value. You can fill up on nuts, seeds, grains, including oatmeal and rice. Um, and that's really where the bulk of my food comes from. This year, I started participating in a CSA, which is Community Supported Agriculture. It's like a farmer's market, but you work directly with one farmer, and he delivers the produce to us every other week. It's amazing. And for the entire summer, it was only $240. Mm, let's see here. Buy local, eat well, be healthy. Check the environment, too. Mm -hmm. I would say you always have a choice. Take an extra minute to find a deli or even a supermarket that you can buy a pre-made sandwich or some trail mix. There's always a better option than going for a cheap burger and fries. So the take home point is you are worth it. You're worth it. You. You are worth it. There are countless resources. There are blogs. There are websites that have free recipes. There are YouTube videos that show you how to cut a squash or how to roast potatoes. Um, so just know that you are worth it. So the choice is yours. You can be broken healthy. Will you join CSA with me? You can do it. Don't be lazy, spend a few extra hours a week, and you can eat healthy for cheap.